What's up everybody? I haven't updated on the uh, 3D printing project in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. I hope the holiday season is treating everybody well, but let's get into this. You can see I've got pretty good fitment, good, good looking texture. This is a FDM printed face, FDM printed fins, and the little slider, everything, while you have the original duct piece on the back there. Everything looking and functioning really nicely. One of the challenges I've been facing the last few weeks is uh, correctly modeling all the little rubber pieces that are actually in there. Your fins are held in with these flexible pieces. It wasn't really hard plastic, and it's not extremely flexible plastic either, but I'm making them out of TPU synthetic rubber material that we can 3d print looks like that and just getting the sizing of the holes and everything perfect is what i've been working on and the main thing i want you to take away from this video today is that you don't want to throw away your old pieces if you have broken vents or anything because you're going to end up having to take apart one of your original pieces you're gonna have to uh retrieve this little metal spring from inside of here and it's not it's not that bad to do it fits right in here see if i can get it in there but you want to be able to salvage the little metal spring that's in there and this little gear tooth piece that's on the back. This that I'm holding is from the driver's side, the narrower of the three vents that we're replacing. Okay. And it's kind of an offset teeth there. They're not centered. The ones on the center vent, they're, they look a little different. But you'll see there's a little hole on the back. And a little peg right there that just snaps on and off that little spring can't be poking out but just like that that's what it's gonna look like when you pull it out of your original fin set okay so you get that out of there don't be surprised if the pegs break don't be surprised if these pieces on the side break it's all very brittle, like this stuff just crumbles apart, taking it apart to get the scans and everything. But you're going to save that. And this piece will slide right off and that metal spring will fall out. And you want to save that. And you're going to get your new fin sets, and I don't have one for this yet. I'm actually working on modeling those today boom so those will be ready soon and i'll have a fin set for the side vents but you'll receive something that kind of looks like this this is the set for the center vent and i'm going to make a more detailed video to show you how to get that spring to slide right in there you see we have the same little peg on top and that piece will pop right back on there this piece is for one of the side vents but I think it's the same dimensions on the front side of it they pop right back in to my 3d printed one and you see, if you don't have the little metal spring in there, it's really loose and might rattle a little bit. It'll still be functional, just won't have that perfect OEM resistance that it should have. So it really has the best function with the little spring installed. Nice and smooth. And this was a softer rubber that these are made of, and so it kind of 
you see it's kind of squishy it doesn't all move together so I do have a harder rubber a little higher on the shore scale and that's what I got printing right now to test it out in the assembly so once again the main things I want you to take away from this quick video is don't throw away your original pieces you'll have to mix and match some things and also this has been a pro ongoing project that I've been working on since February so we're 10 months in and I eventually will model replacements for the duct back sides, whatever you want to call this assembly. There's a bunch of different pieces that have to be modeled to do that. And if we just pick up this assembly right here, these fins, there's, there's three different sizes basically of the fins. They're not all the same length. There's two separate pieces that make up these sliders and then the bushings or rubber pieces in here that hold everything together. Five different pieces to model. So when it comes to making the face and this fin set, there's like 30 something different pieces that had to be modeled and printed checked for sizing and getting all the tabs sized just perfectly to where they'll snap on to the teeth it's been a challenge to make this fit like an OEM product so we're getting there have patience and when I get it all done I'll have a kit that I'll probably be selling through eBay and I'll make very very detailed videos put them on my YouTube as an installation guide on how all this works but I wanted to get the word out there to not throw stuff away you want to save some pieces you want to save definitely this little metal spring because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have that manufactured you're gonna have to swap that over and some other various pieces but for now the first product you're gonna see hit the market you're definitely gonna have to swap these to your new faces I'm gonna show you real quick how well the fitment is on this this is your OEM duct and fins with your o with your uh, 3d printed face here and I got a I got a neat little weave texture on this one kind of looks like carbon fiber again this is fdm printed filament printed from asa plastic and the fitment is just as tight as it can be as you can see and from the factory you'll notice if you take yours apart they had these plastic welded in place okay they had that melted they have this melted but they did not they did not do anything here and I don't think that they melted anything the two tabs that are kind of hidden behind this wheel I don't think that they melted those together but they knew they knew with the, the heat and everything else that's going to be affecting the plastic that they were going to have to secure that so that's another point I'll go ahead and tell you you're going to have to uh, put a dab of glue on these to make sure nothing moves you'll see on this one I used Gorilla Tape and that's what I've been doing I put it in the car with just this Gorilla Tape up on here and that keeps the tabs from lifting off of the teeth on the bottom as long as you have this metal piece correctly installed and you put some clips back through those holes that fits nice and tight you won't have to worry about the bottom coming loose but I would definitely put some put some glue 
or some tape. As long as you can keep the tabs on the teeth and they don't lift off, it shouldn't pop loose. Now, I have been modeling that duct piece, but the plastic is really stiff. Even the OEM one's really stiff. And getting the fins that are inside of here, the ones that turn side to side, it's really difficult to get them in and out. And so I kind of want to make a make a revised design, maybe a separate piece that snaps on so it's easier to assemble. I don't know how they did it at the factory. Like you really have to flex on those pieces to get them to pop into those holes. It's not very easy to do. I've broken a lot of stuff trying to put those fins in and out and 3D printed fins. It's really hard to to get those in there without breaking the little pegs off. When I offer this kit up for sale, it's also going to come with this tool that I made. You'll get two pairs of these pliers and you'll see it fits just perfectly on those metal tabs. And the whole idea is that these will assist you to remove this assembly from your dash without causing damage to your dash since you have to retrieve these. Again, there'll be a detailed video to show you how to do that. But that's pretty much it, guys. We're almost there. Hope everybody has a safe and happy holiday.